So, welcome back to week three of official Star Made news. This week I want to talk to you about a few things. The uh, first thing being the official discussion on shield changes. The link is in the description on the left hand side and you'll find it on the news page at star-made.org. So, as you can see, he started a discussion on Reddit and it was a very active thread with lots of people offering some really great information and insight into the workings of the AMCs. It seemed to be the way that people were addressing the balance would be to uh, nerf the AMCs somehow. So, that was that and I think it would be a great, great thing if you got involved over there even though that was earlier on in the week on Tuesday. So, um, on Tuesday we also saw a new copy of Starmate, so we're going to move on to the update. As you can see we got lots of bug fixes and noted changes are increased max value for draw distance and max segments so people with high-end systems can get a little bit more when playing the game now. Uh, structures are completely loaded on servers without having to move around, which is uh, slightly different there as well. But the main points being uh, upload logs on the server logs, you can see exactly what's going on there. Uh, increased the slowest turning speed by axis by 50%, so the new uh, turning speed changes have been, sl have been buffed quite considerably. And then the basic value for shield recharge was increased, so you might want to check some of your older ships because your shield recharge may have improved somewhat. Another thing that really stuck out for me and something which I'm loving at the moment is the admin command to destroy structures and all docked objects at once, which is slash destroy underscore entity underscore dock. So if you press F over a ship, it will take all the turrets and uh, shuttles with it in one command, which is really nice because I used to spend a lot of time uh, erasing uh, turrets. Also, we've got better multi-core usage, so uh, I haven't been able to test that, but that'll be interesting to see. <clears throat> Another bug which is, uh, was interesting was the mothership no longer stops when undocking an object. So now if you're planning on using a bomber with uh, explosives as a payload, you can actually undock and it should cruise in uh, without you just stopping dead. So that's been fixed. And lastly, another thing was that the uh, ray test physics are more scalable now. So shooting through a planet horizontally should result in a slightly improved FPS over the uh, previous build. Also, attempts to remove the strange lights from space have been completed. So we shouldn't be seeing uh, ghost beacons uh, or anything like that anymore, which is good. So now I'm going to move on to the uh, pre-build section of the news. and. Uh, there have been a lot of changes. The first was after the discussion on shields, and uh, there is a test currently for AMC balance. More damage causes more time to reload. So uh, if you want to get involved there, get on the test server. The uh, dev uh, server is play.star-made.org, colon 4242. And um, if you want to check it out, obviously you will need to get the pre-build. It should be up to date, so just get the latest one. Um, and go and check that out. I've already done a few tests and uh, my weaponry isn't, isn't very affected because I don't use large groups. But um, if you do have a sniper uh, set up with like a very, very large number of AMCs in a single group, you might want to get on there and just try it out. So uh, you can also do it offline. You don't need to check the, uh, you don't have to log into the server. But uh, that's something that you can do. So uh, there are a few other changes in here as well. Um, but uh, like I say, we're going to move on to the current pre-build, which is the uh, chain docking. So uh, th at the moment, the maximum length of chains allowed is three. This is quite a big thing, so uh, it's going to be a while, I think, until it comes in proper. It's going to need a lot of testing, so uh, any feedback that anyone can offer is it can be useful. And uh, by all means, if you want to check out the uh, chain docking, then uh, you'll need to get the latest build and just have a little go with that. So uh, it has yet to be checked in a real and multiplayer environment, so it'll be interesting to see what feedback the testers have from that. Um, and then finally, we've just had another pre-build today, uh, which includes bug fixes to ray collision. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what the detail is on that, but uh, I love the work that these guys are doing because it's helping the game get better in the current builds for us when they, uh, when they arrive. 
thanks for watching this week and uh, next week I'll be seeing you again for another show uh, we're going to have some more changes to the show over the next few weeks we want to get some commercials from uh, public servers so that we can put them into the show we've already got a few commercials sent in from other uh, community members uh, and yeah we'd also like to get a sports segment going but we're in touch with the people uh, on that so the ship of the week will be coming up soon i think it's coming in tomorrow i had to wait to uh, meet the builder because i like to do a builder interview if i can um, and the station of the week is coming up with that as well so i'm going to link to both of them and those links will be in this video so uh, hopefully this show will continue to improve it's still a work in progress um, but uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week fly safe